Well, serving as a mentor has its challenges and rewards, of course. Many mentors have gotten results through a passion of their own. Yes, and take Wheelands Beauville, also known as Coach B. He's a local Phys ed teacher, but he prides himself in helping teens reach their full potential with basketball and other sports. And we are so happy to have joining us now, Weedlands Beauville from Discovery High School in Winter Haven. Coach hey, B, thanks doing? for being here. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? I know, we're we lucky. Have, we have I Coach know. B on yeah. the <laughs> Yes. So, so you mentor through basketball. Yes, How did this start? Uh, it started off in college. Uh, when, I, when I went out to college, I had a small Christian college. It wasn't a lot of majors to pick from. So I picked psychology and I found a way to how to play basketball and how to count at the same time. And so I came up with the concept and I was blessed growing up, had a lot of mentors to help me out. And so I just took it from there and just used basketball to find a way to counsel them. And just, I used sports to draw their attention. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, a lot of kids don't understand that side because we, we bet basketball is life, but it's not, it's opportunity. And so I draw their attention by playing basketball with them. And after that, that's when I count them and everything so on. And so how, do, how does that work? Because we talk about sports mm -hmm. and, you know, the, com the competition, the camaraderie, but it's an opportunity to really build character and, and build up these young people. How do you do that? Uh, I do it from my experience. Uh, I actually, when I went out to college, I had four colleges in four years. And so I've been through a lot. So just using that and that platform and uh, just building character, building adversity. And uh, I actually got saved, uh, gave my life to Christ and uh, created the college. So I use that platform and just having four coaches and been through a lot. And uh, a lot of kids uh, use a basketball, use a different sport to make it out. And so a lot of times I try to tell them, basketball is not life, it's opportunity. So you want to use this to find a bigger mm -hmm. purpose. And so once we get the basketball side, we get the sports side. And after that, later on, we find a bigger purpose. So that's what I do. And a lot of my kids uh, train, I train now. Uh, later on, they decide, okay, hey, coach, I played basketball. I don't know what to do next. Okay, what have you been doing? What's your purpose? What do you, so while you're playing, they find a bigger outcome and everything, and they decide to be a teacher, and that's what happened to me, and I decided to be a teacher being doing that. So you've been teaching four years. Yes, ma'am. And what's that experience been for you? It's, uh, it's been very interesting. Uh, I'm one of the youngest teachers doing this, and uh, I pick phys ed because you get to attach all the kids. You get to mm -hmm. attack all the kids. And so it's been, uh, it's been very, very different because I'm young, and I'm energetic and I've, uh, I'm always excited and I can relate to the kids the most. And so just being funny with them, being, uh, finding whatever type of way I can do to get their attention. And once I draw their attention, I can relate to them and I can get them to do anything. And I just basically I always say, I'm, the, I'm always gonna be the one to give you hope. And yeah. so that's how I do things. So. What's a lesson look like? I remember my gym classes. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. Yeah. So so what's shoot, a Coach B off? lesson like? Oh, the Coach B lesson like uh, basketball shorts ready with a whistle and music. I'm big on music. Uh, I can relate to the kids. I try to catch on to the kids, the type of music they listen to. And I'm always interacting with them. I'm always being active with them laughing. I'm big on laughing. The more fun you have, the, the better you'll learn. So um, it's Coach B's type of class, music. Uh, dancing, uh, laughing, that's big, laughing. Participating in any of the dance challenges? Oh, I'm, I can't dance, but, uh, I can't, <laughs> but I'm trying. So the it's kids, like, I'm basketball, I'm okay? basketball, I'm basketball. I have two left feet, but what's going on now? Participating, a lot of the kids come up with some new songs. Hey, Coach B, try this. And I'm, I'm always telling them I'm never too good to, to be like you, because I remember when I was just like you not too long ago. So what I do is they try to show me a little dance move. They laugh at me, but I always tell them all the time, I'd rather you laugh with me than at me, so. <laughs> and you mentioned mentors when you were throughout college and all that, you know, how would your life be different if you didn't have those mentors and why is that driving you to do what you do now? Oh, I, it would, I don't know where my life would be at right now. Uh, I can remember growing up, Boys and Girls Club kid. Uh, my parents didn't really have a lot working hotels. They came from nothing really, but everything that they gave me, everything they had. And so just, I remember just being a Boys and Girls Club, one of my mentors, Richard Mervin, he just said, hey, here's a basketball. I was eating a watermelon. And uh, he's like, here's a basketball and you wanna learn how to play basketball? Yes, sir. And once he put that basketball in my hand, he's like, hey, and later on in school, then education, then doing all type of stuff, meeting new people, traveling the world, and just that type of stuff, it played a big, without basketball, uh, I don't know where I'll be at. It paid for my education. Uh, it got me where I'm at now and just, just teach me so work ethic and uh, just working hard and, and being self-disciplined and leadership skills and confidence. Uh, sports is a big confidence side. And you're reaching children outside yes, of discovery. Yes, so uh, what, what's happening next? What are you doing with your mentoring efforts? Uh, uh, right now, actually, uh, I got, uh, it's called the mission. So basically the mission is based, I want to teach men how to do shirt and tie. And uh, nice. a lot of kids don't know how to do shirt and tie, so a lot right. of boys especially. So what I'm doing is I'm partnering up with a lot of organizations. I have some uh, clothing lines, and I have some sponsors. Hey, 
we want to sponsor with shirt and ties and uh, just to teach men how to do shirt and tie boys and boys become men and yeah. uh, hospitals and uh, a lot of, I'm running a lot of camps, clinics and just doing whatever it takes, however it is to get the kids attention. So that's what I've been doing now. So it's been exciting. All right. So how do we reach you before we go? Uh, right now, uh, I'm next training on Facebook, Instagram, everything. So on. just reach me. Also, uh, like I said, I travel and speak to kids, and everything. So on. just like on Facebook and uh, online also. So I'm next training and everything. So on. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here. We've enjoyed chatting with you. Thank you so much.